So over the past few weeks, I've been publishing some snapshots on YouTube of the traffic growth of my latest website, Case Study. And I had a comment from one of the subscribers saying, how are you getting this traffic so quick? Is it the amount of money you're spending on it? Is it the team of writers you've got on it? Or did you find any keywords? Well, it's a little bit of both, but one thing in particular has really helped me with this case study. I found a keyword that nobody else has written about, and it's the first time I've ever found one of these keywords. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you where I found that keyword and what I think is possible if you actually find one of these. So let's get into this. Hi everyone, welcome back to the video. So this video today is going to be about a keyword that I found that is very, very underserved. Now, over the last four and a half years, I've been watching YouTubers say that they look for these brand new keywords or underserved keywords and they target them and they get tons and tons of traffic. Well, I'd never found one of these keywords, I'll be honest. I've always found keywords that everybody knows about and probably everybody is using the same tools to find. So therefore, it's not unique and everybody's targeting it. But I did manage to find one. Now, like I said, I remember people like John Dykstra saying that they spend a lot of time trying to find these new keywords and they say they are out there. And actually, if you look at Google statistics, Google says that a huge majority of the searches that are done on their search engine every week are new searches. They are keywords that people are typing in that's never been typed before. Now, this website, as you'll know, is in the travel niche and the majority of the places, the destinations, the hotels, etc., have all been covered because they've been around for a while. However, I found this keyword using a tool, and this tool is inside Ezoic's dashboard, and it's called Niche IQ. And in fact, this video is actually sponsored by Ezoic because I told them that I'd found this keyword, and they happily said, listen, if you want to put a video out, we will sponsor this video, let everybody know where you found it, how you found it, and how it's helping you grow your traffic. So I'm going to jump onto my dashboard in a moment, and we'll review this tool. It's called Niche IQ. It's a free tool inside your Ezoic dashboard and each week it is providing me with a bunch of keywords. Like I say, I happen to just go in this tool one week and review the keywords that it's found me and I found this keyword that I'd never heard of. I can't tell you too much about it because obviously I want to try and rank for every search term regarding this keyword. So build a cluster and some strength around this keyword that I've found. But it's about an activity. So it's not a hotel, it's not a destination, it's not a beach or anything like that. This is an activity and it's one that's become very popular around the world that not many people are talking about. So I managed to find this keyword and I've jumped on it and I've created as much content as possible. And it's working well because obviously it's underserved, not many people are writing about it. I am the first on the scene and I am ranking number one for this activity pretty much around the world. So we'll jump on the computer now and I'll do a screen recording and I'll show you inside my Ezoic dashboard what this tool is, how I found the keyword and how you can use it on your website if you're using Ezoic. If you're not using Ezoic ads on your website and you want to monetize your website, it's very, very simple to do that. I will leave a link in the description to sign up for Ezoic and you can get these display ads running on your website and earn some income straight away and you'll be able to use this tool to find keywords just like I did. So let's head over to my Ezoic dashboard. Now, obviously, I cannot show you the new website case study because I've not revealed the domain, but I will show you inside one of my existing websites, hutchandcage.com, and I'm using this tool on there as well. So we'll jump into Hutch and Cage, and that way I can show you the keywords that it's finding, and you'll get a better understanding of how to use the tool. So let's jump on the computer now. Okay, so here we are in Ezoic's dashboard. You can see we're logged into hutchandcage.com and you'll find all the tools that Ezoic has like Leap and Flickify in the top section here, as well as Humix, the video tool that they use. And here we go, this is Niche IQ. So if we just click that, you'll see there are a few tool sets inside the Niche IQ system and all of these can help you, number one, find some keywords, number two, 
optimize some of the on-page assets of your website. And number three, it can also identify any health issues your site may have, so any errors that you may be unaware of. So the one we're gonna to cover today is the topic section. Now, one of the things you need to remember about Niche IQ, this is an AI generated tool. It's a tool that uses their inbuilt AI systems to really identify opportunities inside your website. So it's more direct, it's more personal. It's looking at your content, your website, all the on-page SEO signals from your website versus some of the other tools that's out there that give you a broader look on things like a pet website. So this is very, very specific to your website and the more you use it, the more this system is gonna learn and grow. So let's have a look at the topics now. Let's just click topics. And you can see here from their suggestions here that they've already done a lot of the keyword research for you. They're already using this AI inside your dashboard to identify the competitors, analyze the gaps in your keywords, check for keyword difficulty and opportunities. Then obviously picking which one you want to write about is entirely up to you. So the first thing we need to do is click their topic suggestions. Now, what you need to do is you need to remember that this system, I believe it refreshes every week. So every time you come in here, the keywords will be different. Now that is fantastic because what it's doing in real time, kind of every week, it is looking at the changing positions in the SERPs. Things change constantly, particularly if you publish a lot of content, your rankings will change, your authority and position in that niche and that topic will also change. So every week you can come in here and Niche IQ will have rerun the checks inside your website and it will give you a fresh dashboard of keywords every week, which is fantastic. So the first thing I always like to do is expand the page. I always ask it for about 50 suggestions. We have three sections inside the topic. So these are your topic suggestions, basically your keyword suggestions. Then there's another section that has competitor overview. And then there's another suggestion here which shows you your competitors and how they stand up against you. So for instance, my main competitor, are they doing better than me or worse than me? And you can use that information to keep an eye on your competitors and see what they're doing well and see if you can replicate anything that they're doing on their website that could help you grow. But here we see the topic suggestions and I'll just run through here. The first one on the left is the bookmark. Now this is very, very important and I will come back to that in just a second. Then obviously this is the topic. You could say this is your topic or your keyword. Now this is the potential. This is not the keyword difficulty. We'll come on to that in just a moment. This is the potential. It's basically how valuable they think this keyword or this topic is for your website. And it takes a lot of things into consideration. It takes into consideration the traffic, the relevance, and the keyword difficulty. So it looks at all these and it gives you a score of how potentially valuable this keyword is for you to go after. And then we have the search volume here. This is the estimated monthly search traffic volume if you ranked number one for that keyword. And then we have the keyword difficulty. Now this is what most people probably are gonna look at. And if we look here, it says that the keyword difficulty ranges from zero to 10. Five is an ideal, it's kind of the average one, and it reflects the difficulty of your site ranking that keyword. A keyword with a five is considered middle of the range, and it recommends that you should go for those, but the lower the number, the better. So something with a keyword difficulty of one is gonna be very, very easy to rank for, and something with a keyword difficulty of 10 inside Niche IQ's metrics is ranked as difficult. Then we have the covered tab, and this is a tab that basically keeps a track of what topics you've covered. So this will say whether your website has already covered that topic or not. And then we have a few functions here like copy to clipboard, search on Google or Bing. So this would be used if you want to double check this keyword on Google or Bing and see if you think yourself, whether it is difficult or not, you can double check that very simply by simply clicking here. And then we have hide topics. So if you believe this is not relevant for you, you might want to hide the topic. This is to mark it as covered, i.e. telling the system, I have done this topic. 
And if it pops up with something that you don't want to see, or it's an offensive to you, maybe adult topics or swear words in the keyword, then you can report it as offensive. Now, these are very, very important, as well as the bookmark. Now, the reason for that is Niche IQ uses their AI intelligence to learn from your options. So what you do inside this tool will help the system learn. Now, to give you a really good perspective on that, Hutch and Cage does cover animals that live in cages, birds, rabbits, hamsters, etc. But we don't cover cats and dogs. Now, Niche IQ doesn't know that at the moment. It looks and it just says, you're a pet website, you're ranking for lots of pet keywords, I suggest you should write about here, the life expectancy of a cat. It has a very good potential, so potentially could be very valuable for me to rank for that keyword. It has a great search volume of 9,900. It's a keyword difficulty of six, so it's medium difficulty, and I've not covered it. So this potentially for me is a very good keyword. However, I don't want to talk about cats and dogs on my website. So I would mark this as hide the topic, basically saying to the AI system, I do not want to write about cats or I do not want to write about dogs. And over time, it will get to learn that, wait a minute, I keep showing Carl these keywords about cats and dogs and he just keeps hiding them. So I'll show him fewer keywords related to cats and dogs in the future. So it's a really good tool to keep interacting with it and interact between you and the AI. And the more you do that, the more it will learn. So if you take this one here, where do hamsters live in the wild? If I then bookmark this and say, yep, I like that keyword. I bookmarked it, it now knows I'm interested in that. And then if I come along here and I actually publish this article and write marked as covered, there we go. It's now gone from this list, but it's not forgotten. The AI tool will now know that I'm interested in that kind of topics. I've suggested it, Carl's written it, and it's ranked, and he's interested in that. So it will learn from that feedback, and it will give me more keywords on similar topics. And you can see some of the keywords in here are very, very valuable. Uh, you know, these are all five and 9,000 search volumes with pretty low difficulty. Now, if you want to go to very low difficulty, we could find things like here, um, can chickens eat spinach? Potentially, it's got medium potential. That means it's going to bring in a decent amount of money, not the best, not incredible traffic, but it's good and it's worth doing. But look at that. It's a keyword difficulty of two. So it basically means taking all my authority, my relevance, my age, etc. If I write this article, I am more than likely going to get on page one very quickly and it's going to bring in a medium potential. So a decent amount of traffic and a return on my investment. Now let's jump to like page 11 and just have a look at some of the suggestions on here. And you can see here, these are keyword difficulty of one, which means I'm pretty much guaranteed to get on page one if I write this. You can see these are the low difficulty keywords and these are the ones that I would go to first if it was a new site and I wanted to gain some traffic and some authority and some position in this niche. These are the ones I would go to first and then I would maybe start working my way up the list. So let's go back to page one. And as my authority grows, I might start targeting some of these bigger keywords and bigger search volumes. You can see here, 1600 keywords for this one, and it's still a low difficulty keyword. So these are the ones I'd class as my medium difficulty, and I'd go after these on a brand new site after around seven or eight months, and I'd work my way up to the list. And when I've got some authority, a few backlinks, and we gaining some traction in that niche, I would then start targeting some of these bigger keywords. And as mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is where I found my keyword that I'd never heard about and nobody had been searching for it. So the search volume I found on this keyword was very, very low. So that made me think, should I cover it? 
But when I looked at that keyword, I realized, wow, the search volume is low because nobody really knows about it at the moment. It's an activity, it's quite a new activity and not many people know about it. That's why the search volume is low. But week on week, that search volume has got bigger and bigger and bigger. And without using Niche IQ from Ezoic, I would not have spotted that. So it's a great tool to use. It is free. You don't need to pay for any keyword search programs or tools to find some suggestions. You can see here, there are some very, very easy and simple suggestions that I could go for right now on this website and that will bring in some traffic. The lower the keyword difficulty, the more I am almost guaranteed to be successful to rank that keyword. So it's a great tool. I use it all the time. Remember, it does learn with your input and it does refresh each week. You can see here, the content is refreshed weekly. So once a week or once a fortnight, come in here, see if it's spotted any good potential keywords for you. And then you know you've got something to write about and you have a better chance of ranking for it. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out Ezoic's Niche IQ. The link is in the description if you want to sign up for Ezoic. Get some ads on your site. Start using their tools and monetize your website. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.